Good morning from Paju. Good morning from Paju. I'm stuck. So basically, we decided that we want to explore um, the suburbs of Seoul. So just like last time, we went hiking and we ended up in Gwacheon. Yeah, so we decided that we want to look around, see how things look um, in Gyeonggi-do, exactly. Basically, Paju is a very big area. Like, I used to think that it was a city, but... I mean, it, it technically it is a city, but the area is huge. There's like 400,000 people living in the entire Paju area. So right now we are in Gumcheon. And we are trying to find something to eat. There's a Starbucks there, but I don't know if we want to have Starbucks. Do we want to have Starbucks or do we want to have something else? I guess we can find something else. Yeah, let's That's do that. Nice. Yeah. Alcohol. <laughs> so we found a market and we're having some breakfast. It's is it all right to have tteokbokki for breakfast? I think there is no rules in Korea. To be yes, that's right. And if you're ever in Korea, please try the buy a kimbap it's like the small kimbap it's so good no matter how many times i go to those markets they never fail to amaze me like there's so many weird shit pants pants next to banchan <laughs> bread <laughs> wow there's a lot of banchan <laughs> How's the coffee? Good. Good? Yes. It's just 200, 2500. Oh, really? Nice. Ice is really expensive. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I really don't get it why you have to pay more for ice drinks in Korea. Like, mm -hmm. I've never seen that in Europe. Something that I really love about Korea is the amount of amazingly decorated cafes and well, it's not even about the decor itself but as you can see it's, it's pretty beautiful in here but the coffee itself is good and there's a lot of cafes that are like you know quite empty so if you don't want to study at the library or something you just always come to a cafe and study in peace and I should actually make a video about my favorite cafes in Korea and I guess I'm gonna do it Okay, so we are currently looking for the Paju monument thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is, okay? But we cannot find it, like we, we, we can't find it. We lost the way, but it's pretty here. Oscar. Okay, we can do that. You should be able to see it. No? Look, there is a trail. Yeah. I mean why would they build a staircase? <sighs> okay, I don't know where we are. <laughs> um, we've found a way, but... I'm scared, like I'm genuinely scared. Okay, go first. <laughs> this is somebody's house. 
There is a bike. I feel like we have just entered yeah. somebody's property and we should actually well, go. I don't think this is this is a genuine house. Like it is it is a house. Oh well, my god. Is it legal though? It's like, well, it has a it, I think it ha if it has an address, I think but it's legal. Like, no gate or anything. God, this like. Well. Well. Okay, now there's no people. We need to run. <laughs> okay. Now, it's getting judged. Ajumas are looking at us. They're like. Where the fuck are they going? <laughs> yeah, this is the house that we trespassed. Trespass. This is what happens if you go traveling without any plan. But I mean, at least it's interesting, right? <sighs> I love it. We made it! Um, after trespassing. After trespassing and crossing the street very illegally in a very illegal place. We got it. We got it. I don't know if it's illegal, but we just found an army base. <laughs> there is like a trip wire. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Epic high. Yes. Where are we? I have no oh. idea. What? We are really close to Broiled Eel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Broiled Eels Town. <laughs> so there's a trench, and we're pretty sure that there are mines inside. I'm pretty sure that this entire place is a minefield. One wrong step. One wrong step and there's like, you're gone, you know? About everything. <laughs> it's about everything. Shit, there are like actual trenches. Look at that. <laughs> there are like actual trenches in here. This thing is, I don't know when. <gasps> Jesus this Christ. This is like, this is like, this looks like crazy. <laughs> what the hell? Do you know, I'm scared that if I go inside, go this thing... Out. Yeah, we might not get out and also this thing from 1917 can happen when there's a rat and suddenly the whole thing explodes. And a tripwire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so I'm not really sure whether we should go inside, but this is the first time in my life that I'm seeing a trench. Where it's... I'm going to clickbait this video like, we found a secret entrance to North Korea. Oh yeah, that's a great title. <laughs> should I do it? Um, yeah, we're gonna get demonetized for this for sure. I mean, I'm not even oh, monetized at wait, that point. Gonna, I wanna really take a photo inside to see what's here, but I don't wanna go down. You should. Take like a stick and... This is a sacrifice, a photographer's sacrifice. I'm, I'm not gonna get shot, am I? Probably not. Can't guarantee though. I'm scared! I feel like we're not like we're somewhere we're not supposed to be. No, no. So we have found an army base. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I can I get sued for that? No. I can't. For, for recording something that is no. not to be to be recorded. Because the Pato area is so big we decided to go somewhere else and we're going to this art village called Haiti. Art village, and yeah, apparently it's um it's one of the most famous places around. So we're it's going. The only place listed as tourist attraction on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, that's place, true. So. <laughs> so we're going to check it out, and then it's gonna be lunchtime. So maybe we're gonna have something to eat. <laughs> I don't really know what what what, what are we looking for? Food? Probably. Yeah, but it's nice around here. Just the cafe stuff. A coronavirus update. Um, yesterday there was only 18 cases in Korea, so that's good. Are we going? Which way are we going? That way or that way? Uh, yeah, this is a really confusing place. I don't like. It doesn't really look like Korea. It doesn't look like anywhere else in the world that I have been to. Um, yeah, oh. sad. No, we should return it. Can we call someone from it? Try. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Can you? Wait, we gotta do it like that. Oh, well, Shit. let's put it. Let's try. 
Yeah, you don't have a number. Don't worry, just say it. Doesn't pick up. Doesn't pick up, no. Well, what can we do then? Uh, yeah, and I'll rock block it. Yeah, just just. Don't go. I established that um, looks cool here. Like it looks very aesthetically pleasing. Like the buildings are really nice, and there's a lot of cafes, but there's nothing to see. Like it's a nice place, you know, to come and chill with your family or like come here on a date. But like I don't know, like it's called, you know, it's called Haiti um, Art Village. So like I actually expected this place to be a little bit more artsy, but I mean, it's really artificial. yeah, yeah, it's very artificial. Yeah. Maybe that's where the art comes from. <laughs> yeah, art official. Yeah, you know. <laughs> this is North Korea guys on the other side of the river but there is something that looks like a city but it's not an actual city it's a fake city so like when you look at it you can like actually think wow they have you know normal cities just like we do and it's fake. I think that's what they told us in the TMZ tour when I went. Oscar. Expensive. Oh, why? 17 for a margarita? I'm so hungry. We finally found a place to eat. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food and it's not like crazy expensive. Well, so we found another weird place, Provence Town, and this is a Europe replique. This is supposed to look like Europe, and it's really weird. I don't know what I expected. I mean, I didn't really expect anything from this place because I saw it online. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be rude, like people will be like, oh, why are you criticizing? It's weird. Oh my god. Duckies! I just went to that um, photo place and they were playing last Christmas. Please note that it's May 19th or 20th. Well, it's April. Oh yeah, it's April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you get my point. Right now, I'm literally at the very end of South Korea. There's maybe like, I don't know, like one, no, maybe like 200 meters of land. And then there's the river and then there's North Korea, which is kind of cool. I don't know why I'm so like, so excited about it. I'm not excited. It's just really fascinating for me, you know, that it's there and it's so inaccessible. I think he's too afraid to join me here. He already risked his life entering the trench today. <laughs> so yeah, he's just chilling here. And I'm chilling here. Tired. <laughs> 